Hi, I'm Joachim for Statistics Globe and in this video I'll explain how to remove rows of a data frame that contain at least one zero in the R programming language. In the video I'm going to show you an example and this example is based on the data frame that we can create with lines 3 to 6 of the code. So if you run these lines of code you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data frame object appears which is called data. And if you click on this data object, you can see that a new window is opened, which is showing the structure of our data frame. And as you can see, our data frame contains six rows and four columns, x1, x2, x3, and x4. And as you can see, some of these rows contain zeros. So for example, the second row contains a zero at the fourth position, and the third row contains a zero in the second column of our data frame. So let's assume that we want to remove all rows where at least one of our columns contains a zero. Then we can apply the code that you can see in line nine. And in this line of code, I'm using the apply function. And within the apply function, I'm specifying a user defined function. And within this user defined function, I'm using the all function to check whether a row contains a zero or not. So if you run line nine of the code, you can see that another data frame is created at the top right of RStudio, which is called data zero. And if you click on this data frame, you can see that another window appears, which is showing the structure of our new data frame that we have just created. And as you can see, this new data frame contains the same columns as our input data frame. However, this new data frame consists of only three rows and none of these rows contains a zero. So in other words, we have removed all rows with at least one zero from our original input data frame. So in this video, I have explained how to remove rows with any zero in the R programming language. However, in case you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the R programming code of this video in some more detail. And if you want to check out this tutorial, I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video. And furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments or if you give me thumbs up on the video and make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new R programming videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye bye.